with skin of color, uh, we often see a ton of atopic dermatitis or eczema. And interestingly, it does present differently. So instead of having those red patches and plaques on the skin that are you know, can be very itchy, you may see just hyperpigmentation or brown spots on the skin. You may see um, follicular prominence. So it almost looks like the little follicles are standing on end. And that is actually a form of atopic dermatitis or eczema that is common in skin of color. So that's one of the most common inflammatory conditions that I, that I do see. And sometimes it's not that the condition is unique to skin of color, it's about how it presents. So of course, teenagers, you're talking about raging hormones. I can give a whole lecture about the, you know, teenagers and all the impacts of that. But the most common thing is what? Acne, right? But why is this different in skin of color? Because the chief complaint is going to be different, possibly. So in patients with more brown skin, you're thinking, you know, patients of African descent, Hispanic patients, all of this, think about this. They may come in with the chief complaint of dark marks. That's it. Or if you take care of a lot of um, Hispanic patients or Spanish speaking patients, they may say manchas, like just marks, marks. I'm concerned about these marks on my body. And guess what? I have to educate them and say, you actually have acne. You have acne, so we need to treat the acne to prevent these marks that you really, really hate. And one of my other tips is that I explain exactly what every single medication is going to do. Because guess what? Guess what? If I just go in and say, oh, you have acne, like I don't even mention the dark marks at all. Oh, you have acne. Here's medication. The patient is going to leave. The teen is going to be like, I don't want to come back here. I came for dark marks and she didn't give me anything for dark marks. When in actuality, a lot of the cornerstones of what we're doing are, you know, preventing inflammation. We are using, a t using topical retinoids to get at that prevention of acne. And also some of those things can treat hyperpigmentation. But guess what? If you don't tell your teen patient that, they're going to think that you did not even hear them. You're just like all the rest of the doctors, Right. So that is another common thing that, um, that, that we see. 